Hello guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. My name is Yasser Ahmed. So in this video, we're going to be looking at paper four from the information technology course, October, November, 2022. So paper four is a practical paper, which is two hours and 30 minutes long. And this paper is out of 90 marks. So what we're going to be focusing on is this first part. So first of all, before we can start, just make sure you got all of the files. Um, so I've got my folder here. And looks like we've got the files. These two are the ones we're going to be I see these three files we'll be using for this first part in this video. So create a folder called examination. You must save all your work in this folder. Copy these files into this folder. Do not delete these files when submitting your work. Do not tidy the folder by deleting files created at any stage of attempting tasks. You must use most efficient methods to solve each task. All work produced must be of a professional standard and maintain or contain your candidate details. Right, let's go ahead and just make this new folder then. Okay. A new folder, call that examination. Okay, and I'm just gonna copy these files in. Actually, is it, let me just see how many we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. How many have I selected yet? Well, there's all of them actually. So I'm just going to copy them into the examination folder. Okay, done. Right, for the first task, we need to open the CSV files to inspect the contents. So the student.csv file contains details of, of students in classes FE1 to FE5 at Tawa Technical College. So let's go to the examination folder and open up students. Okay, get rid of that. So we got fields, uh, student ID, gender, uh, name, surname, campus, residence, room, email address, class. Just checking if these numbers go up in the right order. Okay. Uh, what I'm going to do, just make sure, that, actually that's fine, I don't need to do anything there. Students recently took multiple choice tests where they had to select single answers um, in a range, so A to E. So this was a question, and these were the options. So they would answer either A or E, okay, for each question, such as the one shown. So this is an example question. There is one mark for correct answer for each question or to each question. So the correct answers for the multiple choice tests are provided in uh, testanswers.rtf. So let me have a look at this. This is the correct answers. You can see we've got one, two, three, four tests. And for each test, there's 25 questions. Okay. The file test uh, underscore 102 underscore student response contains the responses to the test 102. So let's go ahead and open up uh, student response. Okay. Right, we've got that. So use a spreadsheet to record the mark for each question uh, for every student who took the test uh, 102 um, to calculate the total mark for the test. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a brand new spreadsheet. And in that brand new spreadsheet, um, I'm going to make three sheets. Um, the first one will be um, S. Oh, let me not type it there. The student marks. The second one I'll put student answers. Okay, and the third one will be, uh, I'll put mark scheme or test answers. So for the mark scheme, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this whole table, but we're just looking at test 102, so up to the third column. Control C. And I'm just gonna paste it here, because now what I'm going to do is copy this again. I wanna paste it. I want to click on this option here, transpose, uh, pose, 
So the results would be shown horizontally, and this would be better for the formula that we're going to be using later on. And we don't need to have test 101, we just need test uh, 102. We can delete this. Okay, so question one, the right answer was E, question two, the correct answer was D, and so on. Now what I'm going to do is, in the first sheet, I'm going to copy this content in. But what I'm going to do is just delete this information here. Because in this sheet, what we're going to have is the score. And if they answer each question correct, then we're going to have one mark. Okay, just having a quick look. Yeah, there is one mark for the correct answer to each question. So I was just double checking. So that's this is going to be where we can have one for the marks and zero for no marks. And here, I'm just going to copy this. Oh, let me go to this um, sheet here. Let's copy all of the answers again. Copy. So what we're going to do is use an if statement. We're going to check to see if this is the same as this value. And if it is, then we give them a mark. So you can see question one, the right answer is E. And for question one, um, this person has put E, so he would get a mark. Question two, the right answer is D. And again, he would get the right mark and so on. So it's going to be an if statement here. So equals if. So the logical test, we're going to go to the answers that the students have provided. This cell here is equals to, if we go to mark scheme, uh, this cell here. And if it's true, then we're going to give them a mark of one. And if it's not true, zero. Um, just before we lock this, um, this row here has to be locked because when we drag down the formula um, in the first sheet, uh, this row needs to stay in one place. We can't be moving down. Uh, we do want to move across, so the B will change from B to C to D according to what question we're looking at, but this row needs to be locked into one place. So let me just put a dollar sign, or just press function F4. Oh, I'll just put a dollar sign before the two. Why is it not letting me do that now? There we go. And let me just drag this across like this to 25. So according to this, um, all of the questions are correct. And uh, let me double check. We'll just pick some at random. So, 10, 11, 12, it should be EBD. EBD, yep. Let's check one more. Actually, do you know what? Let me drag it down and I'll check another example. So you can see this quite a few different records. And we'll check for the next person. So he's got the first one wrong, the next one right, and then the third one wrong. So what did he put? He had D, D, A. So that was wrong, that was right, and that was wrong. So it looks like we've done it right. And let me just click on, e type in equals sum to calculate the scores. If I drag it down. Okay, and there we are. So that's the first part done. Okay, use a spreadsheet to record a mark for each question for every student who has took test 102. Save your work as test 10 underscore 102 underscore followed by a center number, candidate number. So what I'm going to do is just copy this and then I'll change the details when I'm saving my work. Um, so the next step is to create a database and I'll do that in the next video. So let me just... Um, to here and save this um, part. Uh, 
And Sentinel Mag use five, six, seven, eight. Candidate number one, two, three, four. 